What's going on guys? Uh, back here at Extreme Gym in Tijuana, Mexico for another vlog on this, uh, the beginning of my real off season. Last time Charlie came, it was uh, two weeks ago. Um, I was barely like cleansing my body, you know, uh, <clears throat> taking it easy. But that, that shit's over. So I started my full book Monday. Started my full meal plan, supplements, you know what I mean, all that shit. We're going hard now. Started uh, training hard this week. And by hard, I mean intensity, volume, and all that shit. Heavy ass fucking weights, lightweight as well. And uh, today, we're just gonna do a little bit of uh, back workout and a little bit of chest, because yesterday, the, I did chest two days ago. But as you all know, chest fucking went away when I had surgery, so I didn't have time for my show to bring my chest back. So uh, I'm gonna keep on working my chest every, probably two, three times a week, as well as my back. Those are the two things that I need to worry about right now, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna film uh, deadlift right now. The first time fucking Charlie's gonna uh, film deadlift. We're gonna do that. Uh, I don't know. Probably two, three workouts of back, two of uh, chest, two or three, and then that's it. I'm gonna hit the road, we'll get some food, and also for the first time, y'all gonna have a glimpse of my therapy session with uh, Freddie. Freddie's my uh, uh, personal therapist, uh, physical therapist, and he's the one that works on my body. You're gonna uh, see firsthand how we do the grassing technique, we do deep tissue massage and all. Practically you guys are gonna see me fucking yelling and crying like you've never seen me before. So, not embarrassed about that. Um, but it's something that you guys need to see so you can understand what we go through. It's not just about nutrition and training, it's about taking care of your body as well. So, stay tuned. It's just gonna be fun. Hey. Back in 98, Ooh. sipping on purple rain, like champagne, nigga gon' make a toast, and then weed ain't shit, that you pass it. if a nigga don't choke, Rolls Royce I'm flying, sauce is dripping, same color as the smoke, thousand niggas with me, in the street, nigga look like the Pope, oh, oh, shit, nigga. shit again, that's just how I live, Lord's just again, I'm out on Again, lost, turn trail again, need a venom man Wait a man, better get a redolent for my adrenaline If I'm up in my feelings, better pay the man Like motherfucker middle man Like I'm the shits with the shits Fuck another nigga bitch again Off the shits again, island boy like I'm the mannequin On repeat like a ceiling fan All pink like I'm killer can Palms feet, a letter fill us in On the beach like I'm finna tan Black and proud like the brother man Make it rain like the weather man Bust your head, fuck a settle man Captain save and never sell again Gone out the shit again yeah. That's just how I live yeah. Lost shits like I'm out on my own island. Gone out the shit again. Lost just like it again. Gone out the shit again. Lost just like it again. Gone out the shit again. Yeah. Hey, lost just like it again. Hey, hey, gone out the shit again. Lost just like it again. Hey, gone out the shit again. Hey, lost just like. Am I cricket? Twist it to one side. No. Yeah. Back feels good. Lower back. It's a little bit of contractor right now. Quick workout. Say again. Quick workout. It was a quick workout. Interrupted workout. Too many fucking interruptions. So we got here. It's okay, you know, it's like today actually uh, it was more sort of a, like a rest day for me, but since fucking Charlie came, I was gonna do a little bit of work. So when we got to the gym, there's like four or five people who <laughs> kept on interrupting us, but that's okay. 
you know we live for this shit and we can be of any help to anybody else that has questions you know I'm up for it so can't complain about that but should I have been on pig week <laughs> <laughs> I would have fucking probably gone off on them, but it's all good right now. It's all good. It was a good workout back. Supposed to do chest. Uh, probably gonna hit uh, chest at home. Uh, right now we're short on time because uh, once we uh, have to go eat, and then two, like I said, have to go meet Freddie from uh, Recovery Hand. Is uh, my physical therapist, so have to meet them meet him at 4 2 30 so we have like 40 minutes to eat and then another 30 minutes to drive over there that's good these stairs on leg day man Whew. again shackles <laughs> and frank charlie couldn't fucking pick another sh another fucking spot to eat so i'm down to eat tacos anytime you know but, but again charlie come on just kidding. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking eat the whole shot right now. I'm super hungry. I don't know if Ramito's here, so we can take care of us. Oh, he's over there. Look. He's over there, he's over there. What's up, man? <laughs> How's the tacos? Dude, oh shit. I feel like fucking going to sleep right now. It was super good. It was five tacos and two quesadillas. Man, those fucking tacos are bomb, huh? Time to uh, <laughs> fucking go and get some work done on my back and my chest, not my legs. That shit's gonna wake me up. You're gonna, you're gonna see the feminine side of Manny. <laughs> <laughs> fucking crying and shit. What are the benefits of doing of uh, of doing this, like this body work? Physical therapy, like doing oh. So the muscles, right? You have fibers. They're composed by fibers. So on top of those muscles, you create a layer. It's called fascia, the fascia of the muscle. So after working out for a long period of time, since they're contracting and stretching, your muscles tend to contract, stay contracted afterwards, after your workout. So this fascia, it builds on top of that. So it inhibits the muscle to travel its length correctly. Are you following me with that? So, uh, the reason why you want to do deep tissue massage is to break that fucking fascia. And uh, once you break that, you recover your full range of motion on every single muscle group. So it's very important because without that, your growth, it's slower. It's painful. It's fucking painful. I'm telling you, it's the most painful shit that you can ever go through when it comes to uh, massage and uh, there's different techniques you know there's cupping and they all have different purposes there's cupping there's deep tissue massage there's uh, the graston technique uh, you name it and uh, and depending on what you have that's the type of massage that you want to do uh, the majority of the times that i go well actually all the times that i've gone to get some work done on me, it's just for maintenance. I've never gone uh, because I got injured or anything. And the only reason why I've never been injured, it's one, because the way I train. Two, I don't fucking go crazy. I don't take, I don't let my ego take over my training. And two, because I do maintenance on my body every, if not every, every, blah, 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 every week every two weeks at least so it's very important it's very important to do uh some body work either back uh chest legs whatever if you want to really want to grow them you've been working them out like for a long period of time 
and you think you've been eating correctly training correctly and they just don't grow chances are that there's there's this fucking fascia on top of them that it's not allowing you to perform a full range of motion therefore they're not gonna grow so that's how important uh performing uh uh deep tissue massage uh for you physical therapy it's it's really important you ever done you tired i'm fucking i'm fucking falling asleep <laughs> keep on talking to me charlie because i'm fucking uh recovery hand right there He's a physical therapist and we're about to get some work done on my back and uh, chest and that's just gonna be painful Freddy Freddy Hello, ¿qué tal? Mucho gusto Mi fisio Este, es el que me hace Es el único que me hace llorar Este, vamos a trabajar ahorita un poquito la espalda y un poquito el pecho, ¿no Freddy? Andamos un poco de, cortos de tiempo este, pero lo que podamos sacar ahorita, pues es, es más que bienvenido. Y, pues, let's do it. Empieza <risa> Empieza la tortura. Sí. <risa> ahorita estamos aquí con un atleta, Oyak. Eh, viene por un masaje de descarga. Ahorita nos vamos a enfocar en lo que es la parte baja y dorsales. Vamos a trabajar también pectoral. El objetivo de esto, ahorita vamos a hacer una descarga para mantenimiento. ¿Qué significa? Ahorita el atleta tiene que mantenerse, pero también hay descarga para pre y post competencia. Entonces, con la finalidad de no producir lesiones para que se mantenga y se libere de toda la toxicidad que, que genera el cuerpo debido al entrenamiento una de ellas es el ácido láctico entonces ahorita lo que vamos a hacer es descargar vamos a manipular con diferentes instrumentos que van a ayudar a penetrar más el tejido para poder liberar y descargar todo lo que sea la zona de las lumbares, dorsales y tener mejor sintonía muscular ahorita vamos a empezar a manipular esos instrumentos pues duelen el masaje de descarga no es un masaje relajante, entonces ahorita el paciente o el atleta va a empezar a, a hacer un poquito de ruido, de dolor, pero el, el costo, el beneficio es impresionante. Entonces vamos a empezar. Venga. Este instrumento se llama Richelis, es una técnica europea. Por cierto, un saludo para el máster Stefan Richelis, España. Okay. Vamos a empezar. Y masaje. Aquí vamos a ver el acortamiento muscular que trae. Normalmente debe de tocar, pero no le permite realizar el movimiento completo. Entonces ahorita vamos a liberar esta zona. No grites.
este, mira, este es el efecto y aquí nada más hacemos una ligera presión is not uh, a massage that you would imagine right it's a, it's a very painful massage but it's I would recommend it a lot if you want to dedicate yourself to bodybuilding you always have to take care of your body maintenance is number one all the time aside from training and nutrition having a person like Freddy uh, someone that you can trust to take care of your body it's a game-changer so uh, But yeah, this is what a normal uh, deep tissue massage looks like. And uh, this is what I do every other week. Uh, depending on the muscle group that I want to work on, either back, chest, right now we did both. Sometimes we do arms. Haven't done legs, probably I should do legs anytime soon. But uh, this is it. This is, uh, this is part of my team. Freddy is part of my team, uh, recovery hand. Freddy's and TJ, and feel free, you know, to contact me directly or even Freddy. I'm gonna put Freddy's uh, Instagram account uh, so you can reach out to him in case you want to come and, and die at his <laughs> <laughs> and be tortured by Freddy. Uh, but yeah, definitely number one. The number one is number the therapist. <laughs> so that's it. Time to go and enjoy some food at the house again. Again. Thank you. Muchas gracias por, por la atención. Eh, encantado de em, empezar a atender atletas de alto nivel como Koyak y orgulloso de ser parte de su team. Eh, los invito a que vengan aquí, aquí en Tijuana. Eh, aquí estamos como Recovery Hand. Eh, a la orden para todos, Estados Unidos, México. Eh, ahorita estamos trabajando con varios teams aquí en Tijuana. Eh, y pues encantado de poder servirles y que tengan mejor recuperación y mejor rendimiento para, para sus competencias, para que no se lesionen y a la orden Freddy Hernández, abreviado L en Instagram ok, ahí pongo mis datos para cualquier cosa, atención de lesiones primero que nada y luego también hago lo que es la descarga, la descarga deportiva que es para la preparación y para mantener al atleta gracias <risa> 